piece there mm -hmm. about how hackers do the, the, the physical approach in this concept called social engineering. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the question that I want to ask is, how do they do this when they're, we're not talking about getting emails from them? Uh, and let's say, let's say we, were, we, we want to hack into a bank. Right. And how do we get the information to punch into that bank from the employees or, or whatever, w without doing the mission impossible going sure. into their system? Sure. How, sure. how do we do this well, physically? One simple way is there are a lot of uh, information security conferences, right? all the time. So let's say there is a banking information security conference that all the banking network engineers or the security professionals attend. The hackers will be one of them. You don't know. They could assume okay. somebody else. And then they'll be sitting next to you. Let's say you are the information security okay. professional of the bank. And I'm at this conference You're in Boise, conference, Idaho. Yeah, exactly. We're taking, you know, studying information okay. security. And the first thing I would ask from you is, what is your business card? And we exchange business card. Okay. Through your business card, I get your name and email address. Usually, I will have your, net, your title. Let's say your title is information security officers. Then I know that you are the information security officer. Now, what I need this to is, do... This is scary stuff, I mean, man. that's as simple as that, right? Okay. Then, then what I'm going to talk stories with you. Nothing to do with the bank. Hey, David, what do you like to do? Right? Oh, what do you do in the weekend? What, do you, what kind of sports you like? You know? And what's the point of doing that? The chit -chat? I'm trying to assemble. I'm creating a profile that this. You know, I'm gathering information okay. that will be useful for my hacking attempt later. Because what I want to do is to try to get a better understanding of uh, the things that you like. So, for example, then I can guess your passwords. If I, you know, that okay. would be one of the control that that is very important is to have a complex password. Uh, I also need to gain a better footprint. Footprints mean uh, I want to know what, how big your network is, you know, what kind of protection you have. In the computer system, we have an IDS and IPS, right? IDS is intrusion detection services. So, you, so just by talking shop, yes. you get a you get a start to get a picture of the system that I Correct. try to protect. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. All right. I got you. All right. So I'm getting generic information: what kind of systems, how old the system is, how big is your staff, right? Okay. What kind of software do you use? All right. kind of generic info. But those information are very, very useful, which I may be able to sell it to real hackers as a commodity out there, right? Because, you know, those things are being traded on in the internet. Boy. Okay, so what about, uh, what about we finish the conference yes. and uh, we have a cocktail gathering at some bar or some, some reception, then what? What's the possibility then? Well, the possibility is then like, I wanted to find out more, right, by challenging you, well, David, is your system really secure? Then you're going to say, you're going to brag, of course. So how do you defend your system? And you're going to start talking, I have this, I have that, I have that. So those, those are very good information that I can gather from you. So, so what you're saying is that the, the human personnel yes. in a bank or another essential business yes. are, are potential physical security holes yes. to punch in yes. if they leak information even inadvertently to a, a hacker gathering that type of information? Correct. And I, I'm glad you mentioned the word inadvertently because the person doesn't even know, right? So hence, any uh, information uh, experienced information security professional has the right mindset so uh, they are very conscious at all times. What do you mean by the mindset? What mindset is, is your, your philosophy or your discipline, your training, that you need to preserve all confidential information. And you are very conscious. First of all, you, you are aware that this thing happened. You're not, you're not unaware. And the fact that you're aware makes you more um, alert, right? So you cannot be social engineered, right? As simple as if I go to a con banking conference, I don't want to put my banking on my t-shirt or on my polo shirt. I work for this bank. Yeah. I'm trying to be as generic as possible, so they cannot human, you know, they cannot human so hack you. Human hack me. That's the word. Okay. Yeah, you cannot. Okay. Yeah. The more information I can piece together. Let's say you go to a conference, you wear aloha shirt. Right. I know you're from Hawaii. Okay. Right? And you told me you work for a bank. There's not too many banks here. Well, so it's I almost go, a dead giveaway. Okay, there you go. Okay. That's all. So. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What 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 is this? Will fit this whole discussion together now with this? What I gather is an enormous surge in in uh, and not only in the United States but globally yes. in the whole online banking system. What is it? What are the ramifications of this for cyber hackers? 
It's huge because as we uh, I, I mentioned earlier, we are so dependent on electronic transaction, right? We're going mobile now. Everything is in our mobile devices, right? If you have an iPhone, you're backing everything on iCloud. <laughs> okay. So all of a lot of personal data, your pictures, private pictures are going out there, right? So if I can gain access to your iPhone, gain access to that data, nowadays I have more information that I can use for hacking purposes. So uh, as we get more entrenched or more uh, uh, glued to this electronic world, then uh, the hacking is becoming more prominent. So the 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 what's the, what's the what's the risk that uh, you know like one of the one of our major banks gets gets hacked? What's the risk to the to, to me as a consumer? Well, the the bank has uh, you know has to uh, comply with uh, a Graham Leach and Bliley Act which in essence is protecting PII, personally identifiable information, right? If the bank get hacked, then the information is being breached. There is a penalty and there is uh, all kind of things happening. And also in Hawaii, we have Hawaii identity theft law that will protect the PII also and there is requirements and penalty involved as well. So from that perspective, legal perspective, there are uh, problems, right? Then from reputations, once you're getting hacked, then your bank's reputation will go down, right? But then more, more importantly is if you're getting a true hacking is when the penetrator, uh, perpetrator, able to actually transfer money, right? But there are a lot of controls in, within the bank, 